get a feel on my operating nails and I gotta have my thumbs a little bit shorter so there they are they're shorter than the other nails so now I'm gonna go in with the fill. Now on this nail, I just uh, replaced it, put a new nail on, and all of these just need a fill. So I'm gonna go in with my Opry Extend Gel, and I'm just gonna get my Opry brush. Well, it isn't really an Opry brush, but it's the brush that I use for my Opry. So I guess it is an Opry brush. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put a little bit in, not a lot, you only need a little bit. spot there and I'm just going to get a little bit of my acetone and go around the edges. I should probably be using alcohol since this is hard gel. Okay, so that one is done. Let me just go ahead and pull that all the way down the nail and make it look flush. that one is done. I'm just going to leave it be and then I'm going to go in with the next. And remember, just use a really small amount. You just want to get near the cuticle but not touching the cuticle, guys. And try to be as neat as possible. You don't want to get that stuff, this on your skin at all. So actually that one is good, so I'm going to go in with my pinky and this one is a little bit, it really needed a fill. I'm so particular about my nails, like I do my nails every week because I just don't like them. You know how like after like a week they grow out and you just got that little space there that has nothing. Like I just don't like that. So I just go ahead and fill them every week and I take them off every three weeks. But I have to be honest, I don't ever let my nails breathe and I know that that's not good. So I'm actually finished with the fill on this hand. Ooh, I see a little bit of a mess. You see it there in the well? You don't want that, guys. You do not want that. Make sure that you do not have that. It makes the polish look really funky. You just want to clean that up really good. So this is my feel using the Opre uh, Diamond Extend Gel. Now I'm going to go in and cure. Cure that. Give me about 30 seconds. Maybe I'll do a minute and then I'll go back. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the bonder and the primer on. So I will do it on this thumb. But I don't think that I'm going to have any problems at all with that. I got my polish here that I'm going to use. It is a Your Sugar Color Gel. And it is the same color that I have on. I'm just going to be reapplying some of that. And none of these nails needed to be filled. So I just let them alone. But I do have this like little dry stuff underneath of there. About that maybe I can put some oil or something okay so that is good and now I do have to go over and put my 
Opry Gel Top Coat on the nails before I, this is also a no white top coat, before I go in with the polish. And also make sure you're doing just a really thin layer. You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want your nails bulky. on the opry nails. It's very, very simple as well to put these nails on. You do need a little bit of help from somebody to hold the light. Make sure you got all of the sides. skin there and also over here too this one actually really hurts. So cure that top coat and then I'm gonna go in and fill this one and give this a top coat as well. So I did replace this nail. There was a little bit of lifting because I had an air bubble in there so I went on and fixed that. goes wherever you want it to go it doesn't it's not like the builder gels so you actually have to put 
place it where you want it. You don't need to go all the way down the nail like this. this to the side. You just want to hold your hand upside down a little bit. so your polish doesn't seep into your nail and that color doesn't transfer. You don't want that. You might decide to do your nails a different style next time. Okay, so there you have it all filled up and I'll come back with another video when I do my polish. Bye!